So every once in a while, we come up with a presentation or a discussion that we get a lot of questions about. And we just find it to be a good idea to bring that to you on our program. And we do a little bit of an extended discussion. And then we have it available on some of our other channels so you can actually refer to it by itself. This one today happens to be on what is mortgage insurance? What is mortgage insurance? So obviously, you know that I am a consumer advocate, a mortgage professional. I've got a real estate license. I don't use it. But let's chat about, and part of the reason I don't use it is there's, there's a lot of other people that do that, and they understand what that's all about. So let's talk about a little bit of an overview of what we're going to be sharing today on the on this program. And we're going to talk a little bit about, if I can find it here, um, well, I guess I'm not going to find it there real easily, but what is mortgage insurance, why you need to have it, and the requirements for the mortgage insurance. So that's, uh, that's, where, we're, that's where we're starting off today. So one of the big problems I see all the time, in fact, I had a conversation with somebody about this just last week. And the conversation was about why is it that so many people think you have to put 20% down? And people don't understand you don't have to put 20% down. There are options, especially for people getting into the buying of a new home. Maybe you haven't bought one recently. Maybe you've never bought a new house. You do not need 20% down. Veterans, you can buy with nothing down and you never need to worry about mortgage insurance. So please ignore this conversation. Other than your kids or grandkids, they need might not be able to get away with this. But anybody else, don't wait for 20% down. There are USDA programs, no down payment. There are some Fannie and Freddie Mac programs with 3% down. FHA, 3.5% down. You can put 5% down. All different sorts of things. So you might be required to pay mortgage insurance. If you pay 20% down, the basics of mortgage insurance and mortgage insurance comes under many different names. It could be MIP, which is a mortgage insurance premium. That's the FHA version. You might hear somebody say PMI, private mortgage insurance. You might just hear MI, mortgage insurance. All basically the same thing, but we're going to get into them. So the basics of mortgage insurance, your mortgage lender may arrange for mortgage insurance with a private company. PMI rates vary by down payment and credit score. It is generally less expensive than FHA rates for borrowers with good credit and paid monthly with little or no initial payment at closing. That is the basics of mortgage insurance. Most common way to pay mortgage insurance or private mortgage insurance is added to your mortgage payment. Now, you may have the option of paying both. You could have a, a single premium mortgage insurance where you have one premium paid up front. We use that in our appraisal gap program. If you're not familiar with it, let us know. Just send a message, RJ, at ronsingleradio.com, and we'll get you the information about the appraisal gap program. But there is an option of paying for PMI with a one-time upfront premium at closing instead of paying monthly. Now, the next alternative is... Oh, wait, on that one, I guess I should tell you, cost between a 0.5% to 1% of the entire loan amount. On an annual basis, if you have a $100,000 loan, you could be paying as much as $1,000 a year, $83 a month, assuming 1% in mortgage insurance. You may have the option of paying for both. You may have uh, the option for going with part up front and part monthly. That's a great option for many people. Just because you tend to, to have a lower monthly, if you have a need, you have a need for mortgage insurance, but you can't afford the, the debt to income ratio, right? That could be where part of that problem is, is you might have to just uh, go a little bit different in a different route right there. So let's see what the next, uh, what, what's next on our slide i wonder why i'm not getting these coming up on my uh there we now now i figured it out okay fha mortgage insurance that federal housing administration loans insurance premiums are paid 
to the Federal Housing Administration. FHA loans are government-backed mortgage insured by the FHA required on all FHA loans. Now, why do they request require this? Well, again, FHA is not giving you the loan. All they're doing is guaranteeing, having all mortgage insurance, is basically guaranteeing to the lender or insuring the lender 20% equity in the property in case of a default. So the FHA loan is a one-time uh, upfront mortgage insurance premium, and you can generally finance that into the loan, and a mortgage insurance premium every month. So that's where that one comes in. My, my screen just froze on me once again. Okay, Josh, go to the next slide if you would, because I'm not, oh, there it is. So <clears throat> you have to really understand where your credit scores are in order to go through these things and know what's best for you. That's why I share with you all the time, you need to talk to somebody that's really understands all the programs and has them all available to you. That's just as big an issue, having them or understanding them and having them all. A couple of banks, big banks, they don't offer the FHA mortgage program. So they might tell you that if your credit score is too low, you don't qualify. And the fact of the matter is you don't qualify with them. So you've got the F, on the FHA, you've got both the upfront mortgage insurance and you've got the, which gets, again gets rolled into the mortgage. And you need to have on FHA a credit score of 580 or higher, and you need to have 3% down. Now there are some programs that will allow you to go with a little bit lower uh, um, uh, credit score but you're going to pay for it and you need to have a higher down payment. Two kinds of FHA mortgage insurance. Again, the upfront mortgage insurance premium, and you've got the, the monthly mortgage insurance premium. You have to do both. MIP is paid annually. And again, it gets charged out of your account every month. And the upfront UF MIP, you might hear that name. That is a one-time payment. The VA home loan, getting a Department of Veterans Affairs backed loan, the VA guarantee replaces the mortgage insurance. So the VA home loan is for service members, veterans, and their families, and there is no monthly mortgage insurance premium. You'll pay an upfront funding fee. The amount varies based on military service, the down payment, the disability status. We get all that from your certificate of eligibility, followed, which follows your DD-214. You can roll this uh, the the um, you can roll that funding fee into your mortgage payments. You pay that on a monthly basis as well. So that's just a little bit of it. Now, how do you get rid of the mortgage insurance? That's a biggie right there. How do you get rid of that mortgage insurance? Well, there's a couple of different ways. What most of it is dependent upon your appraisal at the time you take out the loan. Sometimes you can just call the your servicer and ask them to remove it. Not as frequently, it doesn't work as well that way. But sometimes you have to, when you take out your loan, there's a amortization schedule. When you have 20% equity based on your payments, the amortization schedule, then you can almost always get it taken off. FHA never comes off. The only way to get that off is to replace the loan with a new loan or refinance. So, and that can be done on the FHA loan or on a conventional loan. Either way, refinancing is almost always the way you've got to do that. And I would say that if you have taken out your loan anytime from, say, February of this year prior, you ought to be sending a copy of your most recent mortgage statement to RJ at ronsegalradio.com, RJ at ronsegalradio.com. And let us take a look and see. You may be increasing your interest rate and saving money every month. Yeah. Do you care about your interest rate if you can save money every month? That's the basis of it. So just be right, be aware. Let's look at it for you. So, again, our team, basically, we're doing all the different types of loans, FHA, VA, conventional, jumbo, first responder loans, Get on that mortgage app. Yes, we do have a tremendous loan application. All you have to do for the loan application is go to ronismylender.com. Ronismylender.com. You have a great mortgage app, and you can get on the on your way right from that. 
You're listening to Ron Segal Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets.